we're here on uh, the Civic Holiday Monday. It's a beautiful day. We're at Charlotte's Freedom Farm, and this is Lauren Edwards, who is the, I guess we can call you owner, proprietor, caretaker of all these animals yeah. that you have here. How many animals do you have on this property? Uh, we have about 85 animals 85, now, including wow. our chickens, ducks, turkeys, cats, and everything, yeah. Amazing. So, yeah, they're, they're all sorts of different animals. Now, how did this all start? Uh, so, well, I've always been an animal lover, um, always had a lot of animals, but the farm part started with a four-day-old lamb, Charlotte, that I took in, and we'll meet her. Uh, she's big now, a couple hundred pounds, but at the time, she's about five pounds, four days old. Uh, I'd been talking to a farmer, uh, told him I wanted to rescue, actually, it was a chicken. It started with wanting to rescue a chicken. Told him I was vegan and would give his chickens a great life, and he said, you know, I've got an orphan lamb here in my kitchen. Why don't you come pick her up? And I think by the time he was finished the sentence, I was running to my truck and driving out to Harrow. Um, and yeah, she came, and you can't just have one sheep. No, nope, so you gotta then have a another. Couple more yeah. came, and the goats, and um, now we have a full blown sanctuary and a ton of animals. That's great. Okay, and you're located in Comber, mm -hmm. just uh, by the 401 and Highway 77. Now, are you uh, you open to the public? Are there tours that are available for people? Yeah, so right now we're doing tours. Uh, usually it's every other Wednesday and every other Sunday. Uh, the Wednesday's a daytime. Uh, it's been actually really busy. We got a lot of, because kids aren't in school right now, so the last couple have gone really well. Um, and then Sundays, and then we've done some, we have some goat yoga classes as well. <laughs> That's awesome. All of it's on our Facebook page, all the okay. dates for everything, all the upcoming tour dates. So just um, search uh, yeah. Charlotte's uh, Freedom Farm in, in Facebook and Charlotte's it'll come Freedom up and we'll Farm, put it yeah. in our uh, status and on then Facebook. And the too. last Sunday of every month is our public volunteer day. So we have an extra 10 to 15 people that come out and volunteer. And that's a lot of fun. And we do a potluck after as well. That's awesome. So that's another way to get out and work a little bit, but spend some time with the animals. <laughs> okay, we don't want to make this video too long. And there's a lot to see. Yeah. So let's quickly go through it and let's see some of the animals that you have here. This is a special needs guy right here, right? Yeah, so this is Carly. Oh, Carly, um, I'm sorry. No, I thought you were okay. a boy. Oh, yeah, you know what? I did tell you they were all. Boys. <laughs> this is another girl. Uh, Carly, neither of her front legs straighten. She has a massage therapist that comes every week. We're working on that. Uh, she uses her wheelchair to get around right now. Very happy, go lucky. Oh, yeah. She's cute. And then you got these yeah. guys who've been following us around quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. So Quake and Vincent Van Gogh are our greeters. <laughs> Vincent Van Gogh. They will greet you at the gate, follow you around. Um, yeah. Really friendly, sweet guys. They'll put on a bit of a show for you with the jumping and the headbutting. And yeah, they saw them. Yeah. Oh, they're doing it a little bit right now. So then you come in. Here's your property, and I know you're looking for a uh, bigger property uh, mm -hmm. to uh, to try to get more, more area animals. for yeah. the for these guys and, and and to bring in more animals. And you, okay, so we got another area here. Looks like what more goats? Uh, yeah. So we have a group of seven goats in here. They're actually temporarily in this area because a pig that we took in is using their area right now. So we do have to shift them around sometimes. So this is Toast. <laughs> this is Entis, named after an animal activist, Joshua Entis. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we have Pika, Loki, and Thor. The difference is Loki has a mask. That's how I can tell Oh, yeah, good part. idea, yeah. Um, it must be hard to keep track of all yeah, these different animals, right? You get pretty good. It's the birds that I have a hard time yeah. with. So this is Garrett. He's months old. He was a bottle feeder from this year. Um, him and Vincent are pretty close in age. Yeah, oh, and, and they look like they're... Big brother. <laughs> it looks like the goats are all pretty friendly and like, like to hang oh, yeah. out with each other, oh, right? They're very... They're herd animals, so they're definitely always together. And then uh, we've got another pen over here. We got some yeah, ducks have, and uh, some of our special needs birds in here. So both those ducks uh, have uh, an issue with one of their legs that's being treated. And then we have a hen in here who has a bad leg as well. But I think she's hiding in. And then there, if you see in the little uh, crate there, there's a little. Uh, yes, that was an accidental birth this year. Our <laughs> birds are hiding their. Is eggs. that a chicken in there? It's a chick. Yeah, it's uh, about a month old chick. It's remember there was oops and whoops. Yeah, is that oops? That's, that's whoops. That's whoops. Okay, yeah. oops is around oops here is around. too, which is a great name for an accidental yeah. oh, chicken. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, he's on top of the uh, the stand here, and then we got uh, bunnies and kitties, of course, that are that are here. Yeah. So how many different breeds or types of animals? Ooh, you know that I'd have to think about. I I want to say at least twelve. There's got to be at least a dozen. Yeah, I, would think, I bet from it's what a dozen. Us. So these are Flemish giant rabbits. They're actually bigger than 
our little dog. They're about 12 pounds. It's hard to always to see in video how big they are. Meg. And this is Meg. Meg. You just recently got Meg. Yeah, you just peek in there. So Meg was a stray. Meg's actually a stray pig that we took in about a month ago now. She's awesome. Now, how does a pig become a stray? Like it just yeah. So over ninety percent of potbelly pigs are rehomed, and unfortunately, rehoming sometimes is just being abandoned. So she showed up on someone's property, and after a week and a half, uh, they reached out to us and said, "Listen, we definitely need help with with her. She was out in the sun, not really doing that well." So she's very vocal. Oh, and we've learned that this is a thing. Yes. <laughs> And I think she's associating me with food, so yeah. And Kelly, <laughs> who's her uh, over videoing exactly. for us, uh, had had it brought a few treats out here. Okay, so well, there's Meg. Meg. Okay, now we go in uh, you got your back area here, and you'll notice there's a lot of broken watermelons around. All the animals love these watermelons. You just smash them against the ground, and the animals just kind of know and and, to them. and dine together. Yeah. It's kind of funny. They've learned the sound of a smashing watermelon. <laughs> so, so when I do know. it in the morning, you get birds and ducks and everyone just comes running. So. And then you go back here. How many, uh, how big is your property here for all these animals? It's under two acres and that's why we're trying to find, we're looking for minimum five acres. 10 would be amazing. Then I wouldn't have to move again. I figure if I get 10 acres, be good so for, if somebody has a big life. big pro 10 acres, 10 uh, acres that's uh, that's yeah. for sale or you want to give a good deal Lauren and all the animals here to yeah. to grow the freedom farm we somewhere here some and cows we don't have space for cows yet <laughs> so cows are the so, next thing that, to get yeah. more room. so this is Domino he was an owner <laughs> surrender uh, he's about a year and a half old now so he will get quite a bit bigger oh you want to be on camera the cats, hey, the cats want to yeah. say hey don't forget about us yeah, don't forget about us What are their names? So this is Emmett, and this is Charlotte, who was the original girl who started it all. So she is the namesake of she what we all have here. She yeah. started it all. So you had, a, I would guess you had, a, you know, dogs and cats, and then yes. Charlotte came to you, and then farm boom, animal. and then it was here. You go. Here's the freedom for farm. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so these guys got shaved recently. If you see them other times a year in the winter, they've got a really thick wool coat. And you it's keep the really thick wool during the winter, I would guess, to, uh, to we keep them warm. We've kept it, and we're using it for some different things, like bedding for some of the animals in the rescue and insulating things. We're trying mm -hmm. to give it back to animals. Is what That's our a good idea. Is. Use yeah. what you have, right? Exactly. And then you got back here uh, these two guys. Oh, wait, what do we got back here? Uh, he's, he's lurking in the background. Sophie the pig? Sophie! <laughs> Here comes Sophie. This is our other pig, Sophie. She came pretty young, actually. She lived in the house for a few months. She was the size of the cats. Oh, yeah, so really? She's about five months older than Domino. Oh, okay. They're they cute. are best friends. They're inseparable. Now, is it true that pigs are really smart? Yes. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. But think twice if you're getting one as a pet, right? If you're getting one as an indoor pet, I would absolutely say think twice. Because yeah. they're smart, so they also will get bored. And a bored yeah. animal will... Do stuff. destructive in the house yeah. and their noses are meant for rooting so they can that mud pile over there they dug with their noses no way so oh i thought you made they that they have the strongest noses they can lift i said they lifted this gate and how it's all tied oh, up here wow. so just so their snouts your, not only like i don't know are they, they used for smelling but they're used for for, for, for finding too? food so they root through the ground dig holes actually and dig holes to stay cool um so imagine that with your drywall and your baseboards and your carpeting. Oh, like that's, man, yeah. That's the, one of the major things that will happen with indoor okay. pigs. So think twice trained. unless you have like an area yeah. like this. I think they I think they do well yeah. outside. Absolutely. People have indoor pot belly pigs who have sure. a great, great life, but a lot of work. Yeah, well, I bet, well, this whole thing has to be a lot of work. Now you got some turkeys over here. Ted and Tom. Ted and Tom yeah. are over here. So we're hoping that when mating kind of season for the birds is over that they can come back out they got a little aggressive uh, at the beginning of the year which is too bad because they would follow me i could really now why are they aggressive up. right now it's because it's breeding season all the female birds are trying to make babies and the males are are just really trying to breed with them so i think they just got a little protective of their girls it's 
it's summer, right? Everyone, yeah. just, all the animals are kind of in heat. They're and huge. They are, and they were. They were six wow. days old when I took them in. They're yeah. really interesting looking when you see them up close. The colors of their face. And, and and they <laughs> them up in like they they're puffed up right now. They yeah. will go totally flat into a different. Shape. No, are they this puffed up because we're, we're around them. Yeah. They're yeah. telling us, hey, yeah, recognize snood, we're here. That's a snood, the thing that hangs over their beak. Those actually get longer and shorter and change color. Really? Now, what's that for? What's the purpose of that? It's it. I think it's like it's showing their emotions. So if they're nervous oh, or scared okay. or aggr like, that's interesting. To be honest, I haven't haven't done my research properly on all that. But wow, they're crazy I, looking. They uh, really cool things with turkeys. Because when I come, sometimes where it's red will be completely white, and really, then they'll puff eh? up and it'll go all red like that. That's interesting. Um, and then their snood will go from little to. So is red yeah. like don't mess with me right I, now? In my mind it is. <laughs> red does kind of mean stop and they're chirping yeah. at us a bit too. So yeah. why don't we and leave you guys up to be looking nice and big. Yeah, too, well you're showing thing. off there. Yeah. Okay, let's now let's go into the uh, the barn area and you got a bunch of guys in here. Okay. Yeah. So we'll come in here, watch your step. Betty? Yeah, so Hi, Betty. Betty and Blanche are our 12 year old female pygmy goats. So they're little but have the biggest personality for sure. <laughs> and they're um, going to find the watermelon, yeah, it looks like. Yeah. You got another wheelchair here. So that's Aspie's wheelchair. So this is uh, this goat you uh, rescued. From uh, slaughter. He, he pulled him right off a slaughter truck at six months old. Uh, both his back legs are actually deformed. It's too close to him. Yeah, he can't, he can't bend it. So he's on painkillers and some different medicine, like stuff every day to help him with his pain and keep him comfortable. Uh, and then he does have a wheelchair, so twice a day he gets in his wheelchair and gets to run around. Oh, that's funny. You said he has a great personality. Oh, he's he actually does a little jump in the head twist. <laughs> That's fun. And then this is the lone llama of the group love, over here. People just call him our alien. Our alien? This wow. whole face, right? I don't even know. So this is Chewy. Oh, I thought um, Chewy. He looked a little bit more like Chewbacca when he was really furry. We, sh we shaved him recently. Yeah. I, uh, I shaved him. As you can tell, it's not perfect. Hey, it works, though. Keep, keeps him cooler, right? And then you got and a uh, donkey. Deacon. So they're actually really good friends. I have oh, videos cute. of Deacon and Chewy playing like two dogs. Would they kind of be in the same family, animal family, um, somewhere down the line, no, I guess? He, I, I guess we all are. He's but. a camelid. So they do well in the, in the warmth. Um, but they're in the camel llama type family, okay. where he's more of an equine family. I gotcha. So, okay. But interestingly, they bonded right away, and Chewie's 15 and Deacon's two. Oh so wow! Okay. It's a really cute. I just think it's a cute. It's like a grandfather grandson yeah. kind of uh, relationship. And, and then these are my original goats, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. The other two are over here, <laughs> and they came as little 10-pound babies. Aww. Um, so this just you can see how long it takes to get to full size because some of the ones out there are a year old and they're nowhere near as big as or horns as big as these guys. Yeah. Um, so these are dairy goats, male dairy goats. You must go through a ton of hay. Yeah, we're about a hundred bales a month. It's about five hundred dollars a month for hay. Uh, that's one thing with moving and having more pasture is. If we have 10 acres, they'll out be they'll be out eating pasture all summer. Yeah. So it'll actually save us money oh, in the summer every month. Yeah. Not and in the you winter, built kind but... of all this. This is like an original garage that this was here. This was a garage, yeah, and uh, you know, slowly added more and more. That's great. And all yeah. the animals kind of just get along. I'm they, sure they have their differences once in a while, but 99.9% .9 of them are friends. I've seen the different species hang out, like with the watermelon. You get a rabbit, a goat, a duck, a turkey, and a chicken all sharing one meal. And it's really cool seeing them hang out. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, so more information on your Facebook page if you want to uh, check that out and uh, and see what Charlotte's Freedom Farm is all about and find out when they can come out here and yeah. see the animals for yeah, themselves. Yeah, lots more dates. You can 
come out before it gets cold. So. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for having us out here yeah, today. It was, uh, it was a great experience. So thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, yeah, you, can, you have a website too? You yeah, it's charlottesfarm.ca.